Hi guys, welcome back. Oh, today I want to be talking about, well, the release of Resident Evil 8 Village, 8, depending on how you want to call it, Resident Evil Village, Resident Evil 8, anyway, with the release of that I want to be talking about where it all started, well, it probably started even earlier than that, but Resident Evil, the original, by Capcom. Now, when they started this, as you probably know, this, you know, is it worth playing today? Is it worth giving it a blast? I um, highly recommend it, but first off, let's take a look back. You know, you start off, you're in a helicopter, you crash land, you're going to rescue the Alpha team or Bravo team, and um, you find out that, uh, uh, you know, when you get there, you, the helicopter lands and you, you end up being chased by a couple of scary dogs. Something scary is going off, and you run to this. Oh, look, there's a mansion. And yes, just to point out, I do know that this is one of the awards uh, for the worst speech or the worst acting ever. Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But yeah, you, so you find yourself in this mansion and um, it's uh, got some very uh, interesting things as, you, as things kind of progress. You find out that it is swarmed with zombies. There's been some kind of T-virus outbreak and all these people who used to live there have now been turned to zombies. Ah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, when it first came out, it was really scary. Uh, there was moments to it. You look back now, it's not so bad. But there were moments to it that you know was quite scary but yeah, anyway you've got two kind of two paths to take you can play chris or jill chris uh what, what's the difference chris you've got um six spot blocks that you can hold items in and a lighter jill you've got eight blocks and uh you've got a lock pick as well uh, which helps you open certain doors a lot quicker uh, then anyway, so you're going through the house and you you know you end up finding a zombie chewing off a face, and you you run back and it's like ah everyone's run away and uh, quick run away run away and depending on which store you take, Jill the zombie comes and uh, through the door and you with Barry at the time and he shoots the zombie. Chris, you see him, he doesn't the, the zombie doesn't come through the door, um, and uh, you, you end up so. Later on, you, you know, you're going through, you, you find, if you, depending on which path you take, you pick up a gun and you start going through the mansion and finding every now and then one or two zombies. Now, I've got to say, I'm going to have to say that probably the most scariest part of this game is the lack of ammunition. <laughs> um, you do not get enough ammunition. So, it's, if you're familiar with Capcom, uh, I, I absolutely love Resident Evil. I've got them all. I'm a big Resident Evil fan. I love playing them and going back to playing them again. Um, uh, if you know one of their patterns they use is if you know two things. One, if you go into a room and there's loads of uh, ammunition, it's going to hit the fan. Yes, it is. It's gonna, you know something big's coming. Or you walk into a big room. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. It's a boss. Um, the other one is as well if you've got. Um, you know, if you've got uh, 10 bullets, then you, uh, to keep, you've you just been given 10 bullets. You've chance are you're probably going to be using nine of them up to kill the two zombies or three zombies that are coming towards you next. Anyway, so anyway, you're walking around the mansion and after you finish the mansion off, after... It, for me, I find that Resident Evil is a Metroidvania. Now, some people are like, yeah, that makes sense. But I find it's a metro venue. You've got one kind of central hub area that you have to keep going back to. But you go over and certain parts open up more and more and more. I personally think it's a bit of a, a metro venue. I, and I think that's what one of what makes the games really good. Um, and you've got puzzles to do all the way through the game. So certain things like... Um, you know, you've got a room you walk into and you've got some um, two poles on the room or two statues that you have to move over holes, press the button and gas is escaping. But if you have put the statues on the holes correctly, the gas can't escape and then it opens up and you get the, the icon you need or the sun crest or the moon crest, whichever one it is. Um, and uh, once you've done that as well, you've got a lot of things to help you through it. So straight away you get your, your standard magnum handgun, not magnum, sorry, your standard handgun. 
and then uh, you also pick up later on a shotgun um, and also depending on who you're playing you've got things like uh, with Jill you've got things like your magnum and acid, acid launcher should we say a grenade launch what you call it you know, overall though, a great game. It gives you things like uh, your health as well, which I think it's not bad. With your health, you've got these herbs. And you probably know this anyway, because I think a billion people have played this. Um, but you know, you've got your green herbs, and then you've got your red herbs. Uh, if you combine the green with the red, it gives you full health back. If you combine the green with another green, it gives you so much health back. And the green with the green with green, it gives you full health back. And uh, when you meet uh, a blue health or a blue, Purple, maybe blue. I don't know. Um, you get the uh, blue um, herbs, and you combine that with a green herb, and it gets rid of the poison. Also heals you a little bit as well, which is quite good because you meet a giant snake later on, and it keeps kicking your ass, and uh, it's just like I do not have enough ammunition to get rid of this. Anyway, later on, after you you, know, you go out of the mansion, you have to go around the corner and go to like a, a sort of garden area and. Um, you know get a few more bits uh, there's like a, a, a little sort of shack at the end of it that you have to go around and you, you walk into a room big giant spiders which is still scary to this day because they're on the roof and then they fall off and they are really scary and once again you do not get enough ammunition um, and then anyway by the time you've got to the end you get to meet a uh, big giant um, uh, ooh, a tyrant probably tyrant zero zero one I think it is um, Pretty scary, uh, and once again, you do not have enough ammunition, so you run around the room and he's chasing you. Luckily, he can't walk as fast as you do, but you turn around and shoot, and you know, turn around and shoot again while he's running. Um, overall, uh, Resident Evil, it does have some amazing qualities. It's kind, kind of like it's, it's a static background in your 3D character, which you move around, uh, and it's like cut scene, not cut scene, but cut, um, you'll move onto one section, then it'll show you another side of the room. But it doesn't move with you, you know, it, like, it's not 3D, it is static background. For me, when I first played it, I thought it was, you know, it was like kind of annoying. It took me a while to get into it. I mean, when I mean a while, quite a few years before I actually got into it. Um, but now, look, I'm a massive fan. I've got them all, absolutely adore them. Um, but overall, then, Resident Evil, is it scary? Well... <laughs> It's not now, I think it was then. There are some moments that you're like, ah, oh, I think the scary part is, like I say, you do not have enough ammunition. That, is, that scares the hell out of me. That scares the hell out of me. Uh, overall, guys, is Resident Evil worth playing today? I've got to say, yeah, it's still a classic. Yeah, you look beyond the acting because it is very, very, very crap. <laughs> I've got to say. Um, but I think, yeah, it's still worth the play today, and it's still it's still great, and, you know, with the puzzles and everything, once you do the puzzle, once you know how to do it, and those bloody hunters, and I've got to point out, by the way, the remake for the GameCube version, absolutely adore that version, absolutely adore, it's brilliant, the one thing I hate is the Crimson Heads, I'm sure a lot of people will agree on a lot of the Crimson Heads, still scare the hell out of me, because I still don't know when they're actually going to come up, and I've played that game a lot, and I'm sure the one is going to turn up now, and it doesn't, but anyway, Back to Resident Evil, yeah, absolute quality game. The good news is it's still quite cheap. You still get it uh, 20, 15 pound, 10 pound. Um, if you've not played it, recommend giving it a play. It is one of those that will grow on you eventually. But overall guys, so Resident Evil, the original, the very first one where it all kind of started. Yeah, there's others before then, but where it all started, Capcom ventured into doing a horror survival and it worked out. It worked out absolutely brilliantly. And they've done many spin-offs, but the main eight games of Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 and the remakes. Um, 4, 5, 6, 7, and now 8, or you know, 8 Resident Evil Village. Yeah, could it work out? For me, it's Resident Evil 8. Still a great version. I've just been playing that and finished that three or four times over. Absolutely adore that game for anyone that's uh, looking to play it. Absolutely adore it. Fantastic. But anyway, guys, back to Resident Evil. Is it worth playing or is it a great game? Oh, yeah, definitely. Give it a try. Give it a try. So anyway, I've been waffling on a lot. Um, if you've not tried it, worth going out and getting it today. Definitely worth. Just just give it a try. It will grow on you. You've got to take time. You've got to take time to get through it. After a while, then you'll be like, you won't be able to put it down. So, guys, what I've got to say is thanks for watching. I'll leave a comment if you let me know your thoughts. Definitely down below. And give us a thumbs up if you do like it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.